headquarters in Germany and we're about to tell you a little bit more on the VC850 and others in its range. So David, this machine is ultimately based on flexibility for its customer, isn't it? That's right, Lindsay, it is. Uh, in the machine shop, it's it, the most important thing is manufacturing good quality parts in the least amount of time. And so the VC850 has uh, a pretty unique table that not only has a rotary table, but a, a side table next to it. So you can have two setups to get the part off at one in one operation. And what's the benefits to the end user beyond the setups that you're talking about? Uh, setups is, is the primary benefit from uh, you know the table configuration, but the way the machine is designed, it's designed very high precision to make high accuracy parts, uh, very rigid, especially in the trunnion, which is the, the part that's moving the most. And so um, what that translates to for the customer, the, the rigidity and the precision gives them a better part, a uh, higher accuracy part, better service finish. I mean, when you see this machine in action, it's just effortlessly fluid, isn't it? But yet so powerful. That's right. And, and the fluid motion you're talking about is a, is a uh, contributed to the way the machine is designed, but it's also the control and the processing capability and the control that, that makes it so uh, smooth and able to, to push code through so quickly. And that all translates into part finish and accuracy. So you speak about getting the part off the table every single time. Talk me through this process. Yeah, the way that we accomplish that is, is we have the side table where you can put a vise on it. It's got a, it's about a seven inch wide by 11 inch long fixed table that you can have a vise or a fixture on to do the op 10. And then once that's finished, you flip the part over onto another vise on the rotary table and you can do all the other five sides of the part uh, and then pull the part off, can finish. And, and, and what about the sizes of the components then? What are our limitations on this machine? It's actually got a, a large table. Uh, the C table, you can handle it just under a 14 inch diameter part by about 12 inches high. And uh, the side table is, like I said, 11 by seven. And so if you rotate the rotary table uh, to zero position, then you could put a full part on the table and run it as a three axis machine. So you can run a three axis, four axis, five axis, whatever the part uh, requires. You've got it all. It's got a small footprint, but my goodness me, is this powerful? What materials are people going for and cutting on this machine? Yeah, that's correct. The footprint's about eight feet wide by about five feet deep. And this machine is, is so rigid and designed so well, you can cut any material that you find in the shop. The soft materials all the way up to the, to the, uh, the alloys, the harder materials that you'd find in, in the higher end industries. So talking about that then, what industries? Let's go, let's dive deeper. Who is buying this and what for? Well, this machine can be used in prototype shops or in full production applications, job shops, all the way up to aerospace, medical, dye mold, automotive. Uh, really, you're only limited by the part size that the machine will accept. And what do people say when they buy this machine? What are the kind of success stories that you've had? Well, the flexibility, we keep going back to that. Uh, the ability to make high precision parts on one machine. Uh, and another very important thing that, that is a result of a well-engineered machine is longevity. Uh, these machines, like most German machines, are built to run for decades. And so your maintenance costs long-term are low. Uh, your, your company and your people don't have to learn a new machine frequently because the machine is going to run for decades for you. And it's one of quite a few in the range, isn't it? It is, yeah. So in the VC series, we have four, four main models. All of them are capable of a fourth axis rotary. But in the EC850 five axis, we step into the five axis world with an AC trunnion that you see here. And then we have four different models of five axis machines. Uh, this is our smallest. We go all the way up to the VC1650 five axis, which we'll talk about a little bit later. And the controls? Control, uh, that's uh, a very important part of the machine. This is a hide behind TNC640, and it's a very high. Uh, high power, uh, fast processing controller that can handle a lot of code and, and push it out to the servos and, and, and provide fast machining capability. Without the jerking and the vibrating, it's very smooth and that translates into your surface finish and your part quality. Okay. And the maximum weight on the table? It's 440 pounds. And that, that covers a lot of, of different parts. Uh, you can go up to some heavy die parts or mold bases on this machine and, and have the same accuracy that you would on a light part. 
Now let's talk about the 1650 in the range because when I've seen this machine move, my goodness me, to see the size of the component on the table move so effortlessly. Right. It's impressive, isn't it? It's very impressive. And that machine is made for big parts. They go into big things like planes and machinery. Uh, it covers all the industries really. So the application for that machine would be uh, big castings or weldments uh, or mold bases or, or dyes. Uh, anything you just need a lot of machine capacity and travel and, and horsepower, 85 foot or 85 horsepower. So uh, there's a lot going on there. So are the machines in this range exactly the same and it's just a different working envelope? No, there's, there's a few key differences between the VCA 55 axis and the VC 16 55 axis. On the 850, you'll notice the spindle is fixed. It just moves up and down on the Z axis. On the 1650 five axis, that fifth axis is actually the spindle head revolving around the Y axis, which makes it a B axis. So that's the first key difference between the two machines. The second one is the center line of that, that fifth axis spindle is offset from the B axis center line, uh, which is unique. And the benefit of that is when the B axis is programmed to 90 degrees and brought down to the part toward the table, that head can go closer to the table than uh, is it, if it was an offset. So the benefit to the customer is they can make smaller fixtures that cost less, plus the whole setup is, is more rigid. So my final question for you is, what do you think Spinner's five axis machines do that is so successful then? Why are they so successful? Oh, their accuracy and their reliability, that's, that's where we really shine. Uh, and the product line is broad enough to be able to satisfy the needs of multiple customers in multiple industries.